Hey, what's going on? It's me, Darth Vexus. I know I've been absent for a little while. Things have been happening. Whatever stuff. But I have something really cool I just wanted to share with everybody that I'm really excited about. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to put it in the title or if I'm going to let it be a mystery. So, yeah. I don't know yet. We'll figure that out. But. Aha, I got something in the mail today that I've been waiting quite a while for. We're going to dig right in. I am a big collector of stuff, I guess you could say, as you can see all my junk behind me there. Uh, In there. I don't know. It's a book. But, if you couldn't tell already, this is the Boomco Halo Blasters. You got the Magnum and the Plasma Pistol. And these were exclusive to the San Diego Comic Con, which I did not attend. I wish I could, but there's no way I was going to. But, I had seen these somewhere, and then it was, and I got really excited, and it was like, oh yeah, well, it's San Diego Comic Con, and I was like, fuck. So, I went out on eBay and got some for myself from somebody. At San Diego Comic Con, they were $30 for both guns. So, I'm not going to say how much I spent, but, yeah, you can kind of imagine something exclusive like this. So, I'm going to unbox them. And I'll probably shoot them because I'm not someone who likes to keep things in their boxes. I don't do that. Like all my pop vinyl figures. I don't have none of those in boxes. I don't care. I don't resell things, so it's whatever. Eh. I will be very careful though because I would like to keep the box. Ugh. But I'm a huge like Nerf fan. I have a lot of Nerf guns and stuff. I got a couple Boomco guns too, so. But. When I had seen these, I just, oh, uh, I know I had to have them. And there's also, I'm a huge Dragon Ball Z fan, a golden Frieza pop figure that you could have got from the Comic-Con as well, which, at the Comic-Con, it was probably like the normal price, maybe 10, 15 bucks or something, whatever the normal price is for pop figures. But, on eBay, it's way too expensive for my taste. As much as I would like to have. But. Huh. How do you open? Okay. I missed him with the tape. Whatever. Hi -ya. Okay. You ready? You ready for this? Maybe. Do I know how to open boxes? Apparently I don't. I kind of swore it would open like. Right at the top. But I guess it just slides out. So I open both sides for no reason. Anyway. Ah, oh. mm. it's beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. Oh, the Magnum, the plasma pistol. It's got some cool little like black detailing in there. I don't know if you can see that, but uh. so like as of right now, yes, these are exclusive to Comic-Con. I don't know if they will ever be selling them outside of that. And if they do, they might not sell them like in the single pack like this. But, I don't know. Like, on this, it doesn't say like Comic-Con exclusive or anything here. I don't know. But, like I said, as of right now. And then even on the back here, it shows like, it's like, oh, look for more Halo Blasters from Boomco. You got carbine there and the needler which I think is really cool how the needles at the top of it are actually the darts that you can put into it which is really cool and then here's like a refill pack they like targets and stuff but yeah this comes with a target and then two blasters so ah I'm excited now for speed's sake I will not take out the darts because I've got some boom code darts right here that I can work with huh 
Anyway. Ugh. Oh. Ooh, that feels good. I like that. Now, they do have an air restrictor, or maybe it's not called an air restrictor, but it won't let you dry fire. See, it's, it's primed out, it won't let me do it. So, get one of these little ducks that I've got here. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. But, uh, yeah. And if you don't know anything about Boomco, basically, these are their darts. It's like a little tube, kind of like a, the consistency of like a straw, but maybe a little bit tougher. And it's got these rubber tips at the top that only stick to uh, like this certain kind of paper that most of the, that's what all the, uh, their targets that they put in there are made out of. Like this weird paper, but they won't stick to anything else, which is crazy. So, like this, a lot of them come with these little shields, whatever, so you can like, when people shoot, and then bam, see? It sticks to it, which is crazy, but won't stick to anything else on the gun, but it'll stick to that. It's... It's a cool concept, but I wouldn't take one into a nerf fight. Like I said, I just got these for collecting purposes. Oh, that feels nice. <laughs> then it's got some storage on the bottom, storage right here. You can hold like all the darts into it. Ah, oh, this feels really good. I was a little worried the handle wouldn't be as like big enough because a lot. That's that's a big problem with Boomco blasters. See this one, like my pinky doesn't really stay. Which, that's the big problem with a lot of Boomco Blasters, is they don't have adequate room for adult hands. But this, this is perfect. This is like actual size of what the Magnum probably should be. I really like it. This is really nice. Ugh. I love this. This is awesome. I'm going to go right next to my Lancer. So, let's get the other one out, shall we? Let's see how that one feels. So... So far, we're doing good. I like it. There you go. Ah, you're on the bottom. Huh. So yeah, if you'd like to pick one of these up for yourself, eBay is about the only spot right now. Huh. Nice. Okay. Huh. Feels not quite as comfortable, but I mean, you know, it's a weird handle. So that's all just cocked back and. Yeah, pretty good though. I like it. This was definitely a good buy for me. I really am so happy with these. These are awesome. Uh, yeah, see, just dual wield. Yeah, I know I'm a dork. But I don't care, because I have them. These are really cool. I really like these. So next year I'm going to try to go to Comic Con, maybe snag up some uh, cool exclusive things for myself. I think I definitely like the Magnum more, because. I don't know, I've always liked the human weapons compared to the Covenant weapons, but I mean, this isn't bad. It's cool. Like I said, the handle's not uncomfortable. It's pretty, it's also a good size for adult hands. My pinky's not hanging off or anything. So, it's pretty nice. These are a good buy. So, until next time. I was going to shoot it, but then I don't want to make noise. Ah, what the hell? Yeah. So, maybe again I'll do another unboxing if I get any more cool stuff, depending on if you guys like this one or not, but that'll do it for me. Uh, I've lost all those darts already, but I've got the extra one, so it's okay. So, yeah. See you guys next time.